What a great way to kick off this year's Children in Need Then all day today right across the BBC. And for this hour, my final hour of the week on our phone in this morning, let's just put everything to one side and find out what you're doing today to help those less fortunate than ourselves. And two uh, Children in Need fundraisers here from Gosford Hill School in Kidlington. Vani and Ruben are in year seven. Morning, guys. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Now, where are you right? Are you in school right now? What are you doing? We're just sitting in the library. Oh, you've been allowed to use the phone in the library. That's very lucky. What's what's happening there today, then? So what we have planned is a non-school uniform day and for every student to give one pound for to donate to children in need. And we have um, stores that Year, year 7 Council have been doing to sell lollipops. For 20p each. Very nice, too. I love, I used to love own clothes day. It was the biggest buzz ever for us when we could wear our own clothes to school. My children love it now. What are you two wearing? What have you decided to wear for own clothes day then? I've just got my normal clothes that I would wear on an everyday basis. And uh, yeah, and what are you, was that Ruben or Avani speaking there? Ruben. Ruben. And Avani, what are you wearing today for own clothes day then? I'm wearing like, a big jacket with shorts and ripped jeans. Oh, very nice too. I want to ask uh, your teacher, Mrs. Pertel. Good morning, Mrs. Pertel. Good morning. What are you wearing, Miss, for own clothes day? Well, I'm quite excited because I've got to wear jeans on the way to school today. Um, <laughs> so that's unusual normally for teachers. Um, but the Year 7 Student Council have been really good, actually. They've organised a lollipop competition like Ivani talked about. And they're also selling some of the surplus books from the library. Uh, they've also got a chocolate game that they've designed with their head of year so that they can win some big banquet of chocolate. It looks like a massive uh, prize if they manage to guess the right number of a square of different pudsies. You're covering all bases here. Not only are they doing something for children in need, but you're teaching an entrepreneurial mindset as well, which I absolutely <laughs> love. What's the atmosphere like in school at the moment? Is it all good? Yeah, they're really excited to be in, really excited to be here in their non-school uniform. Uh, we've had some of our Year 8 students uh, turned up dressed as Santa because they thought it would bring some cheer to their year group today, uh, which has uh, provided quite a lot of humour amongst both the staff and the students while, when you saw them in the playground. Um, but, yeah, no, it's re- they're really pleased to be in, really happy and really excited. I am glad. Them. Any staff members in Pudsey Ears for assembly today? Uh, I haven't seen anyone, but that doesn't say mean that there aren't anyone. I, I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen everyone for assembly yet this morning. Brilliant. Thank you very much. I know you've got a busy school day. Thank you. Thank you, Varney and Ruben. Year sevens getting ready for the big year next year. Mrs. Pertel as well. Thank you very much. Gosford Hill School, Kidlington. Thank you, guys. Have a lovely day today. Thank you. Thank you. More coming up. 0808 100 9100. What are your charities? What are you doing for children in need today? Let us know. BBC Radio Oxford.